still it biting? Today's assignment, cut a round hole in a sheet of glass without breaking it. Tough duty, unless you're in this team of students in Rick Grigsby's biomanufacturing course at the Granite Technical Institute. Still give as you keep giving pressure to it. There you go. Good. You got it. <laughs> Good job. So it, you, yeah, you guys look. You guys under. solved it. Pressure underneath to give it to stop the bowing of the glass. When we stop the bowing, we don't produce <laughs> uneven physics. Yeah. It's just a class assignment, but these students are part of something much larger here at GTEC. For instance, the instructor is not a product of the traditional education system. He came to the GTI after a career in biomanufacturing. Rick Grigsby plans to prepare his students not only for college, but for internships and real-world jobs. Several of us have migrated kind of from private industry over into the academic arena. Being out in the work field, um, workforce, we see that there's a need for these particular type of skills. There's a whole vocational trade that is very vibrant, that there are good jobs available, and that industries need skilled labor in order to uh, be successful here in Utah. And it's happening not only in the outside job market, but right here under the GTI roof as well. BioInnovation's gateway, known as BIG, is co-located in the Granite Technical Institute. It attracts a consortium of industries which operate their businesses here, while training paid student interns at the same time. Cassie Wakefield, a senior from Granger High School, is one of them. In addition to her schoolwork in the Granite Technical Institute, she also works as an intern for Mesa Genetics, which operates in the GTI building. Working alongside Mesa Gen technicians is not only a learning experience, it is a gateway to higher education and employment. When I volunteer at Mesa Gen, it's because I love the science of it and I love being in a lab and because it looks great on college applications. I fell in love with it last year in my GTI class, Biotechnology, and I was asking my teacher over and over again, can you get me an internship, and he did, and here I am. Um, I intend to go into forensic biology, most likely. Some of the big consortium companies benefit from the skills of GTI students to produce life-saving products such as the Easy Lift Medical Rescue Board. The innovative medical board, which was designed and assembled by Easy Lift staff and GTI students on the Granite campus, made its first sales and debut at the Sandy Fire Department. That everything you see in the building here has been reinvented and reimagined over the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And the kind of fire truck that you see here has about as much in common with this fire truck as the traditional backboard has in common with the Easy Lift Rescue System. What Sandy Fire is doing today is today is implementing a new patient lift and transport system that's going to change the way trauma scenes are managed forever. Skyler Godfrey is one of those students who not only benefited from the internship while helping with the design and assembly of the paramedics new backboard, he found a gateway to the future. This will be an amazing experience for me in my career. I'm looking into biological engineering so just having an engineering background right now on how problems, seeing that how they problem solved a situation and how they came together to make a backboard is going to help me a lot in the future.